Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Paul, an international medical graduate. In this video, I will discuss a very important topic that is necessary for our practical life as well as for MCCQ1 examination, that is the Canada Health Act as part of population health. You can expect at least one question from here on your exam. I hope you will enjoy and stay until the end of this video. If you find it helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. The Canada Health Act aims to protect, promote and restore the physical and mental well-being of residents of Canada and to facilitate reasonable access to healthcare services without any financial or other barriers. Canada Health Act is very important because this is the basis of Canadian healthcare system. Conditions where the Canada Health Act applies. All services deemed medically necessary for the purpose of maintaining health, preventing disease, diagnosing or treating injury, illness or disability and includes accommodation and meals, physician and nursing services, drugs and also all medical and surgical equipment and supplies. So as we know, healthcare in Canada is public funded. It covers almost every aspect of healthcare. According to the Constitution Act, the provision of healthcare falls under provincial jurisdiction. Act specified that the federal government would provide funding to the provinces and territories on condition that they complied with the principles of Act. We will learn what are the principles are. In this way, the federal government could ensure some measures of continuity across provincial health system. This Act also specifically prohibits extra billing and user fees for insured services. Now the principles of the Act. The first one is public administration. The provincial or territorial health insurance plan must be administered and operated on a non-profit basis by a public authority accountable to the provincial or territorial government. That means the public authority must be responsible to the provincial government and subject to an audit for its accounts and financial transactions by such authority. As I said earlier, that's how this act prohibits extra billing. Comprehensiveness. The plan must ensure all medically necessary services provided by hospitals, dentists working within a hospital setting, and medical practitioners. Universality. The plan must entitle all insured persons to health insurance coverage on uniform terms and conditions. Just we need to focus on all insured persons with universality. Number four, accessibility. The plan must provide all insured persons reasonable access to medically necessary hospital and physician services without financial or other barriers. The last one is portability. The plan must cover emergency services for all insured persons when they are visiting another province or territory within Canada. When they move to another province or territory, all insured persons should be able to transfer their insurance to that province or territory. That means when someone is visiting another province or territory and gets sick, it could be myocardial infarction or stroke, he or she will get the treatment without any financial burden. Now, how can you expect questions from the Canada Health Act? This is very important because if you don't know that, it's a kind of boring to study the acts and eventually you will forget the principles. So the first way you may get a question, they will give a scenario and ask which of the following principles of the Canada Acts describe this, I mean the scenario. As I said, someone visited another province and for any reason had to go to emergency department and got the proper treatment. Which of the following Canada Health Acts describe this? Comment down below, what do you think? Another way they can ask very straightforward, like according to the Canada Health Act, what does universality mean? Here, universality and accessibility sounds quite similar and it's possible that we will confuse in our exam. So we have to be careful about universality that all insured persons and in case of accessibility, access to medically necessary hospital and physician services. So we have to be very careful about that. Lastly, what I can say, Canada Health Act is very important but often ignored for the exam. 
and we have to be aware of that. For more, you can also check the link in the description below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for watching.